Hello, my name is Professor Claire Petty and I'm the Vice Principal of Education here at the University of St Andrews. Firstly, I'd like to thank you very much for asking me to be here uh, to join you in what's going to be a very stimulating and thoughtful discussion about the future of higher education. Whilst we're currently faced with significant operational challenges on how higher education is going to look in September of this year, there's never been a more important time to question the purpose and future of higher education, as decisions made now in the face of this crisis will have an impact on our long-term future. There will be no returning to that which we used to define as normal. Our eyes have been opened to new possibilities, new opportunities, and the challenge now is to capitalise on these to be the benefit of higher education. In the space of a very few number of weeks, the delivery of higher education in the UK was moved to remote delivery. This transition was, in the majority of situations, unplanned and required the academics across all institutions to necessarily get grips with uh, lecture recording and online tools for re uh, running remote tutorial groups. The likely consequences of COVID-19 for the sector are that the majority of programmes next year will be offered with a hybrid experience of online and face-to-face -face teaching to enable flexibility of access for the student body and the mode of access will depend on personal health status, location in the world and the UK governmental guidance at the time. In addition, many programmes will need to continue to assess through things such as open book examinations online. This transition to the digital has understandably led to a disproportionate level of attention in academic discussion on the mode of delivery, with a focus on the tangible learning outcomes, the transfer of content and the software used to facilitate teaching. For example, the inability to reliably assess recall of knowledge due to the open book nature of assessment has rocked the foundations of some disciplines and challenged relationships with external bodies responsible for the accreditation and recognition of some higher education qualifications. Here in my institution, we're planning for 2021 and we are necessarily developing new software options, training and support mechanisms for staff and students, uh, considering the classroom environment with social distancing measures and thinking about how we deliver learning outcomes normally associated with laboratory-based experiences. With a possible chance that we may have a second peak of COVID-19 and a return to lockdown, I've heard the question asked in digital corridors about how to articulate the value of university education. So today I welcome the opportunity to reflect on this question and give you my considerations on the topic. I believe that we have failed to express the value of higher education if we do not, at this point in time, articulate the concept that our higher education is so much more than a fees-based transactional arrangement involving receiving an online lecture, gaining access to a particular digital resource, or completing an assessment of curriculum-based content. Higher education is about people and academic communities. It is about exposure to inspirational academics working at the forefront of knowledge, development and expertise. It is about the development of a passion for truth. It is about the shared development of critical and analytical skills. It is about coming to an understanding of evidence-based decision-making, the process of academic debate and the development of personal and collective thought. Engaging in higher education is not a one-way delivery process but that of the united advancement of societal knowledge through the synergies that exist between research and teaching. In bringing the best academics to sit with the brightest young minds in tutorials, lectures and research laboratories, we are ensuring the progression of the next generation. To hinder the educational process would impede the ability of the world to progress forward. In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Currently, the world is challenged by a number of global issues that can only be addressed through this enlightened development of our education. I personally have long since recognised that I'm not going to make the scientific advances that will help address any of these global issues. But my contribution to the world now is to facilitate the students of my institution to be the people who will have the critical and analytical ability to be able to challenge knowledge and develop new ideas and make significant contributions to the successful future of our planet. 
In addition, it is critically important to ensure that this opportunity to develop is available to all members of our society who merit it, to ensure that students are not hampered by their social background, their gender, their race or their disability. Equity of access has to be at the foundation of the future of higher education. I believe the future of higher education lies in enabling the academic community to flourish across the world and to utilise the tools and environments available to bring these communities together, communities together in a sustainable but productive way. We should focus in improving the tools, the methodology, the pedagogy and the choice of physical environment for teaching as a means to support the academic community, but to remember, especially in this current crisis, the fundamental value of higher education. Thank you very much.